In this video, I'll show you some creative ways you can use the edit playstyle functionality within Superior Drummer 3 to quickly adjust articulations within your MIDI grooves. I'm in the Decades Expansion Library for Superior Drummer 3, and we'll use some MIDI from the Big Band Grooves MIDI Pack, which works great with the Decades Expansion Library. And I'm grabbing a swing snare drum backbeat groove, and we're gonna pull it right into our song track. I also want to use a preset here. We're going to use the Broadway Basic Al Schmidt preset. Let's take a listen to the groove that we have here. So just a shuffled backbeat groove. I can right click on my MIDI block, say edit MIDI play style, double click, or with the MIDI block selected, simply hit the E key. That's going to take us into the edit play style window. From here, I can select any drum I want. In this case, I'll select the snare drum. And if I right click, I have an articulation menu, which allows me to quickly change to any articulation I want. Original play will use the original articulation in the selected MIDI. Now, while this groove is looping, we'll select a variety of articulations. Within the decades library, we have center articulation, which is what it's currently using, and several other articulations, such as the off center and edge, which will give us a different snare sound, which may be desirable for your shuffled backbeat groove. And then finally, we'll use this rim shot, which will give us a much bigger backbeat sound. So at the end there, I also increase the velocity just a bit, also available within the edit play style. So I very quickly adjusted the articulation for this specific groove. Now we're not limited to the snare drum here. What we could also do is take this power hand, move this over to the hi-hat. So now we have a shuffled groove using the hi-hat. This will be closed articulation by default. Of course, I can adjust the velocity as needed, but let's right click on it and get more of an open sound. We'll use this open edge three. And now we'll have a shuffled backbeat, now using the hi hat with an open articulation. I want to show you another quick example using a tune track preset, the brush beats, where we're using brushes. All right, so I'm going to go to track two here, and we're going to bring in the same groove so it's in its default unaltered state. I'm hitting the loop button so we can loop it, and this time I will double click. It's going to take us into the edit play style. Let's take a listen in the default state to this brush beats preset. Now with brushes, we have a lot of interesting articulations at our disposal. I'm going to right click. Notice again, we have center, we have off center edge and rim shots. We can go through any one of those. So just from those examples, we take a basic shuffled groove, we're using a brush preset in the Decades library, and we're adjusting the articulation very quickly to audition different sounds at our disposal. Now that rim shot has a really nice big fat sound and would work very well for a shuffled backbeat groove like this. So let's continue exploring a few of these brush articulations. I'm gonna turn up the velocity a little bit more and remember, we're using the rim shot articulation from our edit play style selection. So this is a muted hit articulation available with the brush tool. We also have a muted accent, so let's take a listen to that.
And imagine the drummer playing the brush, but you're getting a muted sound, either muting the drum or pressing the brush into the snare drum to get a muted sound. It's going to be different from a rim shot. which is all different from the original play, which is using the center articulation. Now, one more thing I want to bring your attention to, we have these swirl articulations. So we have some swirls going on. Now the wash of the ride cymbal is masking some of that. Let's fix that by moving the power hand to the hi-hat. And we'll turn down the velocity of the hi-hat just a little bit. So right there, we have some swirl elements that we're accessing very quickly using the edit play style. And notice on the accent short drag, the velocity adjustments will adjust the sound of that accented note, and you can leverage that to taste. And don't forget, we can still change the hi-hat. Maybe we want that open sound, but you know, we'll bring that down so that doesn't get in the way of our brush swirls. And that's actually really nice. Open hi-hat articulation along with the feathered bass drum, which we haven't modified at all from the original MIDI. And then we're using the out swirl articulation with these brushes to get that nice brush texture. All of which, once again, quickly accessible within the edit play style window in Superior Drummer 3.